Hi everybody and welcome back to section 5. We're going to be talking about searching and filtering on issues in this section, which can be a very powerful capability within JIRA. All right, we're going to talk about issue searching using JQL. We're going to talk about saving and managing your filters. We're going to talk about executing bulk changes. We're going to talk about creating new boards from your saved filters. So in video 1, let's talk about issue searching using JQL. We're going to talk about what is JQL, give you more information on that. We're going to talk about writing queries in both the simple editor and the advanced editor in order to return results. And then we're going to talk about how to export those results to use them in other ways. First, let's talk about JQL. Now, you don't want to confuse this with the Java query language, which is something different. Okay, it's the JIRA query language. It's very similar in format to SQL. So if you've spent any time in SQL and understand that query syntax, you're going to feel pretty comfortable in JQL. It uses fields, values, operators, and keywords. And let's talk about what those are. So the fields themselves are the different types of information that are contained within the system. So these are the different attributes for the work types, etc. The values are actually what's contained within those fields. So those are the actual values that we would be looking for. The operators are essentially the heart of the query. They're the intelligence, right? So They'd be things like equals or not equals to or less than, etc., which we would then use to create some intelligence around the fields and values. And then we've got keywords, which are really reserved words that we use in our query language to connect these different operators together. I've put in here a link to a post on the Atlassian website, which talks more deeply about searching JIRA. Uh, you can see here it's called Search JIRA Like a Boss with JQL. So if you need more information, that's a great way to get some, if you can reference that. So let's take a look at the simple and advanced JQL editors in JIRA. We have these two projects here, first project and second project in our instance of JIRA. So what we want to do is we want to run and do some queries against these projects. So you'll see here we have the issues link here in the upper left corner. So let's click that and you can see here we can go to search issues. So our default screen for searching is going to be basically the most generic query that we can do. And we're actually in the advanced editor. So let's flip over to the basic editor here. And you can see that it's going to give us drop downs, which let us build a query. All right. So we can say for the first, you know, I can check these projects and say, I want to see just the first project, just the second project. And you can see the results underneath changing as I do that. You can see I can choose the types of issues that I want to see, the status that I want to see, you know, who it's assigned to, et cetera. Okay. So this is the basic editor, and we can run a query just by clicking the search for issues. All right, now if we go to the advanced editor, you can see we can also look up specific things. Now, one of my favorite queries is about open sprints. All right, so we can say, show me all of the open sprints within this FP1 project. You can see it's actually gonna query, write a query for us that makes it easier for us to run this. So I can say with first project and, my issue type equals story. Then we want to order these. And so you can see how this works. I can use the advanced editor to write my queries. Now I've already written this query here, which is the for the first project and the issue type is story. Show me everything that's in an open sprint and order that by the created date descending. And you can see here, what we get back is two stories, right? These are the two stories that are currently in the first project and are in an open sprint, all right? So there you can see how we would write a query in both the basic and advanced query editor. And I've also given you a, a nice little sheet with this open sprints. 